Revit has a set of mechanical settings which control a variety of analysis and graphic display settings. Let's explore the duct settings. From the Home Ribbon tab, activate the Manage Ribbon tab. Select the MEP Settings drop-down button. From the drop-down, select Mechanical Settings. A Mechanical Settings dialog will display. On the left is a tree. On the right are details in the area of the tree highlighted. The first entry, Hidden Line, describes settings related to the hidden lines and gaps that are shown when MEP objects cross. The first check toggles hidden lines on and off. The next row indicates the line style and the remaining settings are to set the gap. Highlight duct settings on the tree. There are a wide variety of settings in this area. The first two entries have to do with single line annotation. The first checkbox asks if an annotation scale is to be used for single line fittings. The second, the scale. The next two settings are very important for airflow calculations. Air density and air viscosity are specified here. These values are used throughout the load and duct analysis engine. These numbers are set at what is standard air temperatures and pressures. If the project is at a higher elevation, say if it's in Colorado, you will need to change these values, otherwise everything in the ducts and loads will be off. The positioning function within Revit under Project Settings does not figure this out for you. So if you are high up, change the values. The next settings have to do with separators and suffixes on the graphic conventions of the different duct profiles. Under Conversion, Revit provides a place to fix elbow incrementing. Underneath Conversion in the tree, there are two categories, Main and Branch. This is a location to specify duct types for duct systems as well as the offset. These settings are only relevant if you are using Revit auto routing features. Select Branch. Under Branch, you can specify the branch duct types for the duct systems as well as a flex duct type and maximum flex duct length. If you have a section of flex duct longer than the length specified, Revit will warn you. Under the next three settings in the duct settings, rectangular, oval, and round, you can specify whether duct sizes will be used in size list or in the sizing routines. For example, I don't deal in ducts less than 4 inches and no odd sizes should be used in my projects, so I will set those. Note that these are good settings to have in your company templates for when you start a new project. You do not want to have to go through and uncheck the unwanted sizes each time you start a project if you want to take advantage of this Revit capability. Select OK. These settings are now set for the model.